Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Shema Lori and I'm a medical student at the University of Birmingham. Today I'll be talking about Anki. Anki as is a buzzword in among American medical schools. In regards to UK medical schools, people don't really know about Anki too much. Or it's not as popular as it could be, but I think it's amazing. I recently started using it. I started using it in my third year of medical school and I just I've realized how much more information I remember so for those of you who haven't heard about Anki essentially Anki is a free open source program absolutely free uh, and it's like it's a flashcard system but it's very very customizable you can customize it in so many different ways and I'm going to show you in this video how I've customized my Anki and you just have honestly I can't rave about it enough Space repetition is something that's so amazing. I'm not gonna go into it too much, but it basically utilizes something called the forgetting curve. So we as humans, we forget things. You forget things, I forget things. But if we keep getting a re-up of that memory, it, we are less likely to forget it. If we keep getting a re-up of a certain amount of information, we are less likely to forget it. And that's what space repetition does. It gives us information um, spread out, basically. So if I started using it to learn um, medical school knowledge I remember things so much more easier and I can pick out information as well I'm going to show you how Anki or how I use Anki to pick out information and link things together as well if you want to learn a bit more about Anki I'm going to attach some videos in the description box that explain um, space repetition and Anki as well uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of Ali Abdal he has some very very good videos on how he uses Anki and there's a guy called Ank King as well he's American he does some amazing videos and that's what I use personally to learn how to use Anki properly and to full effect I wouldn't say I'm a master yet so that's why I'm just showing you these now guys uh, this video is about showing you how I use Anki as a medical student and how Anki can possibly be used so sit along with the ride guys and enjoy so going into it this is my Anki um, this is year 4 medicine so I just set it up recently uh, and you can see that I started reviews on the May 22nd and that's when I decided to start um, looking at um, fourth year work since uh, their year was cancelled due to coronavirus so exams were cancelled so so far I have done 224 um, cards in total uh, at the moment I made one new card which I'm going to learn today and um, I've reviewed or I'm going to have to review 37 cards but the thing I love about Anki is you can get things called add-ons which I'm going to show you in a bit but this is an add-on so this is called a review map at the bottom so this is one add-on here so it shows you how many cards you've done previously each day so yesterday i reviewed 82 cards uh how many cards you have to do for the consequent days for the coming days so tomorrow or today at 37 cards as you can see tomorrow i have to do 24 cards and it can add on depending on how well this review goes obviously uh and if you it has i love it it's very customizable so decks it's like moment year four medicine deck but what i like to do with my decks is I like to um, tag them instead so I don't make sub decks, I make tags of that and then that enables me to do loads of different fun stuff with them. So um, this is to add if you wanted to add a new card which I'll show you guys in a bit. Um, this is for the browse if you want to browse all the cards you made currently. So here I am and then this is what I meant by tags. So I've made different tags. If you wanted to uh, browse the cards I've made, um, for example I have a card for Osteorized Arthritis. I can preview it. Look at it. And yeah, that's it. And I can edit it if I need be. And this is what I've already previously made. Uh, and then these are the different types of tags. I've made a tag for all the clinical questions that I may encounter or I may have found difficult when they pass papers. And since I just started on um, doing the fourth year stuff, I, I've only started doing a couple of specialties. So at the moment I started I'm making cards for dermatology, respiratory and rheumatology specialty thus far. Um, I've been focusing a lot on respiratory, so that's what I've made the most cards for at the moment. So moving on. Yeah, Anki is also great because it actually shows you your stats in a really well presented manner. So it shows you how many cards you've done in a day. So in the past day, I haven't done any yet. So in the past week, it shows you your true retention rate. 
super mature rate so it's how many times you've done it basically and how many reviews have you passed so how many reviews have you done and flunk reviews how many reviews you basically haven't done as well or uh, how many cars you haven't done as well in the past month it's there as well new cars learned it shows you everything and cars that you've relearned as well so it works really really well it works really really well it'll show you your forecast so the number of reviews you, you have to do in the future your review count number of questions we've answered and, and i've answered and as you can see it's going on an upward incline so that means i'm doing more questions learning more stuff and the review time shows you the amount of time it takes you to do the reviews as well this is a, a bit a bit biased sometimes because because there are ways to make your reviews faster and the one way i do is i have a timer to obviously mimic real life um settings as well but also it also keeps me focused and enables me to do what i need to do and that's what i mean by add-on so that timer doesn't come with normal and keyboard is an add-on that's added then you also have added so the number of cards which have been added and intervals there's a nice hourly breakdown as well so yeah and card types i think you just have a lot of really great and sync so you can also sync it to the internet so if you want to go on anki web you can do that and you can basically do this on the go so i'm able to do this card for my phone as well and yeah so you can go to file you can switch profile which i'll come back to i'm going to show you my deck from the idea and i don't use it anymore i'm using it a lot less now but i'll show you um, how many cards i did and yeah tools you have loads of different tools there and you also have add-ons which i mentioned before so add-ons they are basically customization so the picture i have at the back that's an add-on uh, it keeps me focused um there are loads of different add-ons even to be able to zoom the page is an add-on so add-ons are additions that make your experience better so this is an add-on the fact that i can zoom in and out <clears throat> and then if i go into it i'll show you some other add-ons so um, conservative management of COPD, stop smoking, immunization, education, and prophylaxis or something I can't remember the last one. So, so I got three out of four I've seen, uh, pulmonary rehabilitation, so I got three out of four. So um, this add-on, you can get colors, so you can do it again, if you find it hard, good, um, one month. So usually, if, if I get three out of four, I usually put it on either again or hard, that means I didn't get it. But um, this, there are also more add-ons that show you the information as well. So you can see when I created it, I created it on the 28th um, of the 5th, 2020. I also showed you the time as well. So I created it at 12 o'clock at night. And it shows you when you did the different reviews. So you did the interval, how fast the fastest review was, how slow the slowest review was, um, the tags as well. It shows you the different things. And it shows you, which is why I love it, it shows you what you what you rated the different reviews so it shows you where you put it and to also obviously you can see the improvement as well and this is what i meant by the timer so i have a timer going on there and you can let the timer run out if you let the timer run down then it just takes it straight to again see the timer run down so it doesn't matter what i press um it's gonna um show up as it can and yeah so that's basically how it goes and then the timer starts again for the next question and then just keeps going and keeps going and keeps going so yeah it keeps me focused and enables me to get to the reviews in quite good time So now I'm going to add cards, so to go to add, just go to the add section and I get to show you the different types of cards I've got. So I've got basic, which is just your normal flash card that everyone is accustomed to. Then I've got clothes and I've got dictionary entry and I've got image occlusion. So usually you can get more. These are all add-ons apart from the basic. So when you just use it straight, if you download it straight, all you would see is just the basic, but you can get special card types of cards. I'm going to show you the image occlusion cards again this is a tutorial just how i do it so i've been learning about ent so air nose and throat just holding some case studies on it 
but I hadn't done the ear in quite a while, so I wanted to look over the anatomy of the ear. So looking over the anatomy of the ear, found some pictures. This one looks good. Let me just copy it. Copy, then go to the image section, paste it in, paste, and press the little image button. And then after you've done that, you should be presented with this. So you've got the image there. And so now that I've got the image, I just want to center it. So I've got all this and the different labels as well, but obviously you don't want to see the labels. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to cover it. And I find this mode really useful, especially for if I've got some slides um, from a lecture that I want to go over. And I don't, but I don't want to write down everything of that lecture. Or if I just want to learn a particular part and I don't want to write it down, like actually type it. I usually just copy them, um, just screen record or screenshot the lecture. I usually screenshot the lecture and then I just transfer it straight to Anki. Then I just do this. It's very helpful and very easy to do. Uh, if you guys have any other methods, in regards to Anki, because Anki is one of those ones that you, you learn as you go along. So if you guys have any other um, methods that are helpful, don't be afraid to put them in the comments down below. I'm eager to learn. And what I'm doing now, I'm just basically grouping it. So I press S to select or go here to select. And then I click on the two I want to group and then you can press G to group it. And I do this because um, these are quite linked. So this shows you the inner ear and you've got your um, cochlear and semicircular canal so they're both components of the inner ear and this one you've got the middle ear so you've got your stapes, you've got your malleus and you've got your incus as well which are here so they're all linked together because they're bones of the middle ear so I group them together whereas the rest they all seem fine they all seem normal then you've got your field so this is anatomy of the ear anatomy of the ear you can add as much extra as you want to i think that's it for now and then um, um you have two different options you can do idle guess what so that means that they would, when you do the card it would hide all the cards up and then you have to guess one so the one you have to guess will be highlighted in red but you won't be able to see all the rest of the labels as well hide one guess one means that the cards that that you're going to be guessing or you're going to be not guessing but you're going to be trying to find the answer for that one will be hidden but the others will be so i won't hide all guess one and that made 14 cards so all the different um, covers i did all amounted to 14 and that's it really that's all you need to do so now i'm going to show you how i do my close card so same thing as before go to add uh look at add and then you got image inclusion and land from what i did last but then I'll go to close and I pick close cards and um, at the moment I'll, I want to do a close card and respiratory so well, I've got my respiratory notes here so what I usually do is have my respiratory notes and then I also get the Oxford Clinical Handbook out as well so I've got the Oxford Clinical Handbook out here in the top right so, but I like having it on here so I can just copy and paste because again stuff like this typing takes time so respiratory is important to make sure all the tags are done right typing takes time so i want to do some respiratory stuff and i look at it see what's there see what's important so i've got my notes for pleural effusion to my respiratory notes so i want to learn about pleural effusion so if i want to learn about pleural effusion then all i need to do is just you didn't type in like i said just copy and paste it so copy and paste some stuff on pure fusion. I want this all black. So you can just go here where you've got your colours, change it to black. Where you underline but I don't want it in bold. And that's it. So close cards are a special type of cards. They're a bit different from normal normal revision cards. But I think close cards are a lot better than normal revision cards. So what I do with close cards usually I just copy and paste from the notes so I have a read make sure I understand it first so now what I do I need to make sure I remember it so I make sure I remember it 
to plural effusion. I don't like repeating stuff, so defined as an abnormal accumulation. So I look at which words can I skip out, or which words do I have to remember. So abnormal being one of them, and then accumulation being another one. So I want to have to remember all of these words, and then fluid being another one. So I'm doing this with Control Shift C um, on a Windows Windows laptop. But if you also want to do it by hand, you can just go to this symbol here, which is for close deletion. And just to remind you guys, this card is an add-on. I'm gonna put the codes for the add-ons right at the bottom. So that's it for close deletion. And it's great taller than 20 millimeters. And then you can just carry on in the plural space. I'm gonna leave that because it's kind of common sense. But what's not common sense is with what plural layers are we doing in between. So I cover up parietal and I cover up this row. Plural layers as well. And because I want to help myself remember what I like to do, if I think something is important or is useful to know, as a condition, I just write it down in the extra, copy and paste it. But yeah, and that's it basically. So we've got plural fusion. Defined as this, defined as that, and that's all it is. So you've got the card. If you want to see the card, I'm just going to add it in now. That's what you need to do. Add it in. So browse, go to the browse page, and then I go back to the directory, and then you can search it. So plural fusion. Here it is, plural fusion. So the one I did originally. I wanted it to have hints and tips. So here's what the card will look like when it's done. So plural fusion. And usually I don't um, close all the letters if I think I need a hint in order to figure out what it is. So here I can tell plural fusion I have no accumulation of fluid greater than 20 milliliters in the plural space between the parietal and visceral layers. And then click it. So if I show you the answer. So it shows you the answer fine and then you've got some example of types of plural fusion there. And yeah, I really enjoy these. They're great to do. And the more you get into the hang of it, the easier it becomes. Sometimes it takes a bit of a while to understand and that's why a lot of people don't really get to grips with it because they think it takes too long. Before I go, I just want to show you how to add add-ons if you want to add add-ons that I've got in the description below, in the description box. So the add-ons, you just go to get add-ons, click get add-ons, and then you just enter the code from the description here. You press OK, you need to restart it for the add-ons to show. That's basically it guys, thank you so much for watching again. Like, share, and subscribe, and have a great day.